Tonight, the number of drug overdose deaths continue to climb in Texas and across the country for that matter. Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf reporting from Galveston here tonight as federal agents and civilians are teaming up in unique ways to reverse this trend. An intense war against illegal drugs only growing more urgent. Cartels are ruthless and they're going to try any means to be able to flood our streets with drugs. Federal DEA agents in Galveston County seizing large amounts of meth, heroin and fentanyl. What do you think is the number one problem right now? Look, right now, the thing that's really killing people is fentanyl. Here in our division, we've seized over 670 uh, pounds of powder fentanyl, as well as 230 pounds of fentanyl pills. We're seeing fentanyl lace pills all over the place. We've identified pill mills in the greater Galveston, Houston area. Every worry that a parent has, but I never worried about fentanyl because I didn't know it existed. November 2021, Sarah Chittam's son Seth had just turned 21. He loved to make everybody laugh. He loved to dance. I wish I had danced with him more when he asked. Uh, he wanted to be a chef. Diagnosed with PTSD, Seth bought what he thought was a Xanax pill before going to sleep at a friend's house. He took it and uh, she found him dead the next morning in the bed. Fentanyl stealing her son's life. Anybody that does any kind of drug, it should be a mistake. It should be a mistake they learn from. It shouldn't be a mistake they die from. We chose to use this style, and so this is Narcan. Wes McColgan, a recovering heroin addict, five years sober, now starting Gulf Coast Outreach Services. I'm on a mission, save as many lives as I can. I wasted 50 years of my life, and so now when everybody else is retiring, I'm just getting cranked up. This, their fourth vending machine in Galveston County, filled with free boxes of Narcan for anyone to take home. Nobody can get hurt. Used to reverse the effects of an overdose. In the six months that we've been doing this, we've had eight people contact the, the location and tell them that the product was used to save somebody's life. Don't ever say not my child because with that mindset, yours would probably be next. Six out of every 10 pills on the street the DEA believes contain potentially lethal doses of fentanyl. Authorities working hard to hold those drug dealers accountable. If we can prove anyone has had a part in that death, you will go to jail for this. Reporting in Galveston, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News.